Up Armored Knives Plate Knife. A very compact, but yet not small, because this is a solid knife. Uh, it's a utility knife, really made to go on gear, tactical gear, uh, for guys that are in the field. And one of the reasons why uh, this knife was designed is Will Welling, the owner of Up Armored Knives and Coatings, which we'll talk about that in a minute, uh, has served 25 years combined between military and law enforcement. He is in uh, New York and just has a fantastic passion for knives. Uh, in fact, one of my very favorite, and I have a lot of knives, guys, but one of my very all-time favorite knives is the Fight for Survival knife uh, that Will made. Uh, this has been about a year ago, and I did the review on this. I just abused this knife terribly, and it just held up. Uh, the Cerakote on here, even though there is some scuffs, I mean, it is in excellent condition, and the knife just has been one of my sta staples uh, for um, you know different things that I've done. Uh, one of the reasons why he designed this knife was it was kind of a cross between a fighting knife and survival knife. Going into Canada a lot, doing a lot of fishing and hunting, and he really wanted something he could use for self-defense and survival. And you know, I'll have the annotation here for the video for this, and have it down in the description. This is a masterpiece, honestly. It's one of my very favorites. Uh, but this is almost a matched pair uh, with the small, and I say small, it's not small. This has a presence to it. It has a lot to do with the thickness and just the wideness of this blade. Uh, it is uh, about 0.17 inches, which is between a quarter and an eighth of an inch in thickness. And to get an idea of what I'm talking about, look, I mean, you can see how thick, of course, it is full tang. It is a solid piece of steel. It's 1095 chrome vanadium. And one of the great things about chrome vanadium is it retains an edge for a long time, but it's also very strong. I mean, it holds up extremely well in really harsh environments. So you're starting out with an excellent piece of steel. It is Cerakoted with a uh, midnight bronze Cerakote finish. And then we have, you know, the micarta scales, which they're cut with little divots all through it, but it really it allows you to grab hold of this thing and you're, you're not going to let go of it. It's not slippery. I mean, it's right there, and of course, that canvas micarta really holds up well anyway, uh, and it ages well. It has a very large, wide blade. It is flat ground, and it's convex edged. has a mirror finish on that blade edge. The blade is three and a half inches in length, and the knife overall is seven inches. Again, it goes all the way back fully exposed and then you have the micarta scales has a place here for a lanyard loop has stainless steel inserts that are entered and then flared out because so it's really going to hold itself uh, these scales are going to hold themselves really close here we can see the jimping right here at the top and if you'll notice how my thumb just rests naturally for more detailed work and then I can also grip it back here to get more slashing and more slicing uh, but it really has just a unique compact feel to it. Uh, the chole, the finger chole here comes down deep so you're not going to slip forward. The swedge at the top comes up so it gives it a very narrow and it's going to be excellent for piercing. Uh, this is going to give you a little less resistance if it was full. There's a lot of different options for colors and the scales themselves. Uh, each of these are made uh, right here in the USA. In fact all the parts that he uses Everything he does is right here in the U.S., uh, very conscious of promoting, and which I really love promoting U.S. business. Sometimes it's not possible just because of uh, economic factors and other things. But one of the things that the U.S. is really excellent is to make really high-quality knives using excellent steel. And so I really enjoy something that's not necessarily production because there's a lot of production out there, and, you know, it's just inferior. Now, one of the great things about the plate knife is that it's not really a fighting knife. It is, it can be used as a fighting knife. It can be used for self-defense, but it's primarily a utility knife used for cutting, doing chores, camp chores, cutting certain things. It's just an excellent tool for that, and it's compact. It fits with the gear very well. Uh, that's one of the concepts behind the plate knife is not having something large like the Fight for Survival knife, 
but having something compact with all the other gear that you're already carrying. And so it makes it a nice, solid piece. Uh, you're not sacrificing because of the size of this knife, because it's a pretty heavy, hefty knife system. And that's really going to allow you to do a lot of work, uh, prying, cutting, slashing. Uh, you can put it different ways, uh, whether it's like an ice pick, uh, reverse hand, uh, straight forward, even back this way, pulling at the uh, pushing and cutting. So there are just a lot of different things that this knife is going to be capable of uh, that is not specific. And that's one of the things I like is to have multiple uses for blades. A lot of large blades, uh, you know, they're pretty much set for, you know, field use. And really carrying them around every day, you're not going to. Something this size, while it's still a fixed blade knife and it's large, it's compact. It comes with a basic Kydex sheath like this. Uh, very well made. What I really love about this, though, is this uh, synthetic uh, suede that he uses. And what's really beautiful about that is this. It slides right in very quietly. Kydex makes noise. And if you put a knife in a sheath that is just open Kydex, which most of your sheaths are like that, it can be loud this extremely quiet Two, it retains itself in the sheath being kydex it's not leather and it's not going to retain moisture like leather would of course with the uh, cerakote finish on here it's going to protect it anyway here we have up armored knives uak stamped right here very plain and yet excellently executed. I mean, you, you identify the knife, the knife maker. Now you get the Kydex sheath with it, with the synthetic suede, which makes it nice. You can choose different type of attachments, uh, whether it's belt loop or Molly compatible. Uh, this is a multicam, which of course they're a little more expensive because multicam gets their cut, which is understandable. And uh, this is a really nice colored sheath. I think it's about $10 more. Very similar to the original. And then, one of my favorites is this little Scout Carry. This is excellent to put on your uh, belt and then it rides horizontally. And again, it does have that suede, feels really excellent. If you want to get the Scout Carry in addition to your standard uh, sheath, it's about $40. But this is an excellent design. I love these loops on here. Your plate knife with your standard sheath regularly runs about $315. Uh, he is running these for $275. Uh, just mention Such when you order the, the sheath. In fact, on his website, he'll have the Such special on there. Um, it is uparmored.tripod.com. And Will has been making knives for a number of years. He still works with the, the police department there in West Valley, New York. So he's on the cutting edge of self-defense, whether it's law enforcement or military. And so, you know, he's really producing some knives that are very user-friendly. Uh, all the details are taken care of. Now, Will got his start with doing Duracoat and Cerakoat coatings, not only for knives and gear, but also even for AR-15 stock sets and things like that. Uh, being in New York, he does not accept full firearms but he will Cerakote. In fact, I had uh, some furniture on an AR-15 sent to him. I did a video on this. This is beautiful. It's a skull pattern. And if you're not, if you're not really into skulls, he does a lot of different uh, patterns, camo patterns, and things like that. very well executed and very durable finishes on your AR. And two, it takes that black rifle uh, which will stand out a mile away in a field and it breaks it up quite a bit. So Will started doing a lot of coatings for fellow SWAT members to make sure that their guns were pretty subdued and then it just turned into a business. Uh, he was already making knives and that passion uh, just increased to where, I mean, he is really producing some really fine knives and doing the coatings and doing really high quality kydex sheaths. I mean the sheath for this FFS which is the fight for survival knife with this small Swedish fire steel I mean this is just beautiful.
So check out Up Armored Knives and Coatings, whether you're looking for a really good custom knife or you're wanting to have some things Duracoated or Cerakoted, Up Armored Knives is an excellent source. Uh, you can find them at uparmored.tripod.com. Let uh, Will know that Suit sent you and he'll take care of you. I know I deal with a lot of different companies, a lot of different people, and one of the things that I really have become more and more careful about is the reputation of the company. And one of the things that's a telltale sign is when I'm dealing with them, if I'm having issues, then I know it. The one thing about Will and Up Arbor Knives is that he takes care of business and uh, he'll stand behind his product. So you can really put a lot of confidence in Will Welling and Up Armored Knives. And sometimes that's kind of scary when you're sending a lot of money uh, to someone to get excellent products. And then you're either waiting or you just never get the product. And so check out uh, Up Armored Knives. I think you're going to be very happy with what he's putting together. Excellent utility knife for the field or for your tactical gear. Uh, so many uses. Very high quality. Check out uparmored.tripod.com and let Will Welling know that I sent you. He's doing some great work there at Up Armored Knives. Thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. So he really knows, and so he really knows, so he's really, and so Will got that started while he was working with SWAT then. Okay. So Will, okay. so Will was, okay. the perks of using really good smoked sausage when you're doing a knife video. Afterwards, you take a break. No, I'm not giving you any. See you later. That's good.